Hi guys and dolls, I have to do this again because uh, there was an issue with the first one and I freaking hate that. Anyway, moving right along, do this real quick. Um, update on the snake whose mother died. The update is when he passed, when she passed away, excuse me, he, she had barely been gone that long. She, you know, she hadn't been gone that long. She just passed away. And he dove headfirst into her purse to see what he could get out of it. Um, in front of family members, he didn't care. When you go to the hospital, they give you your belongings in a plastic bag or that person's belongings in a plastic bag. You could take them to your car and discreetly look in there. He ain't trying to be discreet about nothing. He's a malignant narcissist, so he doesn't give a shit. Who knows that he's a monster? Of course, if he gets reprimanded for his nasty behavior, then he's going to get his little two-year-old feelings hurt. He's a, t he's a two-year-old adult. He's a, he's a toddler adult he could do it and hurt other people and be despicable and that's okay but don't hurt his feelings and don't call him on it screw that we need to start coming down on these these fools and we need to start putting some serious boundaries because if you don't have boundaries and they have free reign all hell's gonna break loose and it will never stop breaking loose until you either cut them off everybody stops speaking to them or you just stop them dead in their tracks I mean, malignant narcissism, any type of narcissism can happen on the job. It could happen within the family. And you've got family members who, if somebody has enough chutzpah to confront that person and say, hey, watch your mouth. Don't talk to our mom like that. The rest of the family will defend the toxic person and say, hey, wh why do you have to start? You always have to say something. You always got to start some drama. Wait, hold it right here. Hold it. Every time somebody does something toxic, the toxic person has a team of cheerleaders behind them. Why? I have no damn idea. We need to start turning our brains on and we need to start putting a smack down on these individuals who will hopefully isolate themselves because they know that we're not taking it anymore. Okay? You don't want to rush into a marriage, relationship, whatever. You don't want to rush into having a baby by somebody because you love him. You got to be smart or you love her. You having good sex with that person and that could confuse your brain and make you think that you love this person. If they love you, did they put you on a life insurance policy? Make sure that you're covered if something happens to them. I bet they didn't. Even after you're married, I bet you they don't. But they love you, right? Um, they love you so much. Did they make sure you have a decent health, you know, health insurance? Did they do that for you? I bet they didn't. They could jump up and down on you in the bed and say how much they love you. But when it comes down to doing the nitty gritty and the meat and potatoes to cover that, protect that person, they're not trying to do all that. Oh, I don't have the money. I can't afford it. That policy is expensive. What? But they can take the clothes off. They can always do that. That's never a problem because that doesn't cost a dime. People need to really put the smack down and put some serious boundaries on these idiots, these, these toxic demons. If you do not put the smack down on them and turn your back on them or do gray rock, but gray rock doesn't always work. I had to do smack down on my previous friends um, when they were married. She was married to a narc also. And he kept making inappropriate sexual comments at the table in front of their little daughter and in front of a guy that used to be the mayor of one of the towns in Missouri. I won't say the town, but he kept making all kinds of inappropriate comments. And it's like, this guy used to be the mayor. This isn't, you know, Joe Schmuck that you play basketball with. This is a guy that has some prestige and pull within the community. Have some decorum, you know, have some kind of class. But he kept going and going and going and saying sexual comments. I'm not going to repeat the sexual comments, but he just wouldn't shut his damn mouth. And I said, well, you think all women are whores anyway, don't you? Because his stupid wife, who was my friend, she didn't have enough sense to say, okay, look, that, it's a holiday. They got their little kid at the table. The guy that used to be the mayor, he's sitting right here. Why don't you just shut that up? Nobody, she didn't say nothing. She stared at her dinner plate like it was the most fascinating thing she ever saw. Nobody stops these fools in their track. Nobody pulls them to the side. Even our other friend's husband could have pulled him, t took him outside for a second. Yo, man, let's go outside and have a cigarette or whatever it is that people do. And um, told him man to man. Man, look, 
this is a holiday time. This is inappropriate. We don't. My daughter doesn't want to hear what somebody could do sexually with somebody else. That's inappropriate. Nobody said a word. I'm the only one that had enough balls to say something to him. This is the kind of shit I'm talking about. Nobody addresses them. Nobody embarrasses them. Nobody puts a smack down on them. And people don't put boundaries. And then when they do, the cheerleaders that are supporting the toxic person are like, hey, don't say that. Don't do that. He, he or she can't help it. They didn't mean that. Bye, bye, bye. What are you, their freaking attorney? Use your brain. That person is toxic. They are breaking up friendships. They are breaking up marriages. They are breaking up families. They are destroying people on the job. Everybody they meet has a misfortune of meeting another demon. Somebody has to give them the serious smackdown. If they're being like that on a job, they need to get a warning from the boss. Don't be a punk. Be a boss and say, hey, you're not going to be disrespect anybody else here or else this will be your last day on a job. You got it? Good. Somebody has to man up. And for people who are protecting the toxic person, get some psychiatric help or grow some balls. I don't know which one, but this has to stop. The catering to the monsters has got to stop. Somebody has to stop. Oh, well, if I play nice with them, they'll actually develop a conscience. They don't say those words, but they think if they play nice with them and go to lunch with them and hold hands with them and sing Kumbaya, they're going to all of a sudden be a good person. Are you stupid or what? Whether you're nice or you're not nice, they're still going to be hateful because that is who they are. That is who they are. Hatred is running through their bloodstream. If you do a blood draw on them, you will see the word hatred that is inside of them. It's not going to change because you had lunch with them and you talked nice to them and our mom died and we need to stick together. Are you kidding me? That's like asking, you you expecting them to be nice is like asking a professional bank robber who has been doing it for 10 years, can't get caught yet, you know, has not been caught. Please stop robbing banks. It's not nice. Okay, I'll stop. I mean, let's use our brain. Put Sometimes they need to be put in their place and somebody's got to man up and do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. We worship and, and, and reward toxic people and people that would never do that. Well, they could go to hell. I mean, come on, people. There's somebody on GoFundMe. Oh, my, my, my baby died. My son died. Oh, my God. And everybody gave her, threw money at her threw money at her she made four thousand dollars and she killed her son the cops find out she killed her son would i get four grand no because i'm not a murderer do you see what i'm saying where is your gut instinct to say wait a second i don't something with this person isn't right i don't know what it is i can't put my finger on it but i'm not going to support this because something's telling me something's wrong here like the guy that was sexting on his phone while his son was losing his life in the car extreme heat everybody on facebook oh my god oh my god we feel so bad oh my god if there's anything we can do and come to find out he killed his son on purpose i mean you got to learn how to develop your um your instinct and your intuition to know when something's good or not don't ignore the warning signs. Don't ignore the red flags. You see what I'm saying? We got to use our brain. Stop enabling horrible people. I've told off plenty of people and hurt their feelings and didn't give a damn. Because you don't care about me. You don't care about my feelings. So when I give you the smackdown, you deserve it. You earned it. You got it. There you go. Somebody has to man up. Let's stop enabling these toxic monsters and let's start putting them in their place. If putting them in their place is going to make them retaliate harder against you and they're in a position of power over your life, you might have to reconsider and you may have to do it more diplomatically. You may have to get them back a different way or put up stronger boundaries or something. But, you know, something has to be done. You don't know how to talk, you can get fired. You don't know how to talk when it's to come to holiday time. You always want to start drama and you sit back and grin because you think it's funny. You will not come around for the holidays, period. I don't give a damn if we family or not. No. We got to put our foot down, okay? We got to learn how to do this. And when you get tired and pissed off enough, believe me, you will. You'll step outside yourself and you'll be like, holy crap, where'd that come from? Because people get sick of it. They get sick and damn tired of it. I don't know if I mentioned it already, but I told uh, my friend, if, if there's money from the insurance left over, you, you make sure the funeral home cuts you guys a separate check. Because if you if they put your, your both y'all's names on there and you, somebody has to endorse it to the other person, you're never getting a dime. So make sure they issue separate checks. If there's anything left over from her funeral services when their mom died and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, my God. We got to be smart.
and we got to give the smack down and we got to put up boundaries and stop protecting, defending sick, toxic, destructive monsters. Okay, let's use our brain. I love you guys. Take care. Be safe. It's Friday. It's the holidays. Or it's not the holidays. What in the hell am I talking about? I was just talking about the holidays, wasn't I? <laughs> I was having a blonde moment. Leave me alone. <laughs> Quit picking on me. Uh, anyway, yeah, there was a lady. I don't know if I mentioned this. She got four grand for lying about her, her son dying. He did die, but she killed him. I mean, this is just insane. This is absolutely insane. Absolutely insane how nobody can use their judgment or the gut instinct to know whether this is a good situation or not. Sharpen those skills. Let's practice sharpening those skills so we know to stop rewarding horrible people. You know what I'm saying? You want to donate? Give it time. Give the police a chance to do an investigation before you throw money at them. You might have just threw money to a killer. Y'all take care. Be safe. Do not text and drive. And don't talk on your phone while you're driving. Don't do it. I love you guys. Be safe. Talk to you soon.